Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on the channel. Today we are looking at my June reading journal setup and I have started this out a little bit differently by giving you a sneak peek of what's to come before we set it up together in the video. Let me know if you like this new format, I will continue it in July if you do. So we're going to talk about the theme for June now and some people would have probably guessed this, um, especially over on Instagram. Uh, I've never been quiet about the fact that I have loved Stephanie Garber's books and it's my birthday month. So I already knew whenever I first came in to sitting up for this whole year of destinations exactly where we would be going for my birthday. I sort of primed it with last month in May when we went to Thorn Manor which was one of my absolute favorite destinations and now we're at Magnificent North which is from the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. I absolutely love fairy tales, the whimsical nature of them, the just the absolute enchanting and decadence of stories like this and so I really wanted to have this as my birthday theme sort of like a celebration because there's lots of bulls in the magnificent north there's lots of partying and celebration when things are going right at least so this is one of my favorite series as I've mentioned and I actually I don't know, like this theme came together well enough, but when you search up the aesthetics for the Magnificent North or Once Upon a Broken Heart series, you get a lot of people as opposed to like the environment. So on one hand, I had a wonderful time researching this and feeling like I was immersed in one of my favorite worlds. And then on the other hand, I did struggle a little bit with trying to get... Um, pictures or scenes that didn't necessarily involve people because that was the main goal of 2024 it's the destination not the characters uh, that being said I did have a lot of um, inspiration and the photos so I actually ended up sizing down my photos for this month so I could fit a lot more in I also decided to use my watercolor set of paints. These are a metallic set. I think they're by Jazz Art. I will link everything that I use in the description like usual. Um, my first time using watercolors in this journal for this year. I'm not uh, new to watercolors but I wouldn't say that I'm very good at using them either. I used my um, it's a very cheap stencil, an alphabet stencil for the lettering because I actually came into this with not a lot of time. You're seeing this quite late. Normally I like to have my setups out before the month starts. Obviously I'm narrating this on the 4th of June so we're very much so behind and that's because I've had quite a lot of personal things crop up recently that have um, delayed my time to make videos or even set up for a new month. But we're here now, better late than never, and it's just been a little bit of a time constraint so you'll notice that the theme, whilst I had every intention of making it decadent and enchanting and wonderful, um, I would say I hate it, but I definitely think it's not what I had envisioned when it came to the month of June. We're almost finished now with the sneak peek page. I did end up using these um, excerpts from the book. They're actually the little notes that are in the book um, printed out. And I overlapped them a little bit too much, so I had to rip off a piece there off of Eva Angeling's uh, note to Jack's. But, uh, I mean, it still works. I also filled in the sneak peek page with two iconic things for the main characters. So Eva Angeline's last name is Fox, so she's always associated with a fox. And Apples is a key token to Jax's character. On the right side of the page, we have just a really simple layout. I love how clean this looks and just the nine photos that represent, hopefully, how I feel about this world. 
and I used a ombre piece of paper down the bottom from Anko which is a New Zealand and Australian brand um, from Kmart so I'm not sure how easily that can get overseas but it was very much so um, a good color scheme for this month as I'm going with blue and pink I don't know how the pink watercolour got on the other side of the page, but just to protect it, I've gone and put down some paper. I do find that when I use my Jelly Roll um, pens, which are what I outlined all the headers with, or sometimes the watercolour with the metallics, it does transfer, so I've just been putting a piece of paper in between as I work. And as you can see, when we flipped over into the monthly view, things were already set up. I always try to limit how much time I end up spending on things on camera so I can film it all and hopefully one setting. So this actually took a couple of days to set up. I did a whole bunch of watercoloring off camera. As you can see the next page has also got its headers and filled it all in and then came in and filmed the rest of it. I like to do just the first pages header and then have the rest all ready to go. There are some good things and some bad things in regards to the monthly view. So watercolors was always going to be my choice for this month but I didn't necessarily plan to use it for the line art and you can see that I've made a mistake in the calendar. I went across all the way on the second box, um, wasn't paying enough attention, was too busy listening to an audiobook and have had to use some uh, correction tape and I always planned to use these stamps, these alphabet stamps for the smaller headers but I didn't plan for how this looked as it is now. I'm still really happy enough with how it's come together. It's very basic but I think it covers the theme well enough. I'm not sure about this pink washi tape however. I just threw it in as a whim and I'm wondering if I should have continued with the line of watercolour instead like I did on the right side page. Right side of the page. Uh, this is the monthly view almost finished. The bottom portion is empty so I can put down the books that I read over June and the boxes are where I mark down the days that I've read them and then obviously on the other side I've got a space for arcs and a book haul though I'm not sure how many books I'll be getting for my birthday so I should have probably left a little bit of a bigger space. Flipping over to my TBR page this month I'm not doing any TBR games or readathons so I did end up having an extra space left over and I dedicated that to my birthday. I will be turning 38 so I decided to do chapter 38 as a header and in that section I'm going to put down I don't know either the quotes from some of the books that I really enjoy over June or the first sentence of every book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart series that's on chapter 38. I haven't yet decided what I'll use for use it for but hopefully it'll look good when it's done and then even though I'm not doing any games I do like to have a TBR space for some of the books that I have chosen to read. I am very much so focusing on feel-good reads and things that I've really been looking forward to so they'll be on my TBR. I've got a section for events, so books that I'll be reading with other people, and my library hires. We're on to the final page now, and like I mentioned, I wasn't really thrilled with how the watercolour line artwork came together, and this page very much so represents that. It's kind of whimsy, but with the structure of the header, it doesn't really work. So I'm still not 100% sold on this page, but it is going to work for what I need it to do. And I'm happy enough to fill it in as it is and not have to redo it. So this is how my reading log has come together. Like I said, I was under a huge time crunch to film and put this whole set up together. So I'm really happy with how it's come together despite everything. And I still have enough room to do another page if I read on more than 12 books in June which has been somewhat what I've been doing this year. I've been reading quite a lot, so we'll see how I get to that point at the end of the month if I end up having to add an extra page in. I can add a quote page if I only need one side. There's quite a few things that I could do. 
So I'm just going to round that corner off and get you into the final flip through. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I'm super excited to use this journal over June. I haven't really been spending a lot of time in my journal over May, so I've had a lot of catching up to do, and you'll be able to catch that in my next video, which will be the May wrap-up in my reading journal. It's already filmed. I will be editing it soon and sharing it with you soon as well. Bye, everyone.